Welcome to Artigo's Tip of the Week. Today we're going to actually do some hair coloring. We're going to pick a style out of the Shades of Passion book. And you all should be familiar with these. These are our last two collections, Chanted Woman, Shades of Passion. And today we've decided that we're going to do black, blue, and smoke. So our lovely model here has decided to allow us to shape the hair a little bit. We have highlights in the hair that's grown out. And I believe at one time we had uh, almost a black going through the hair and then highlighted to uh, get some more movement out of it. So today what we're going to do is go back to dark, but we're going to use the smoke and the blue for the highlights instead of the yellow. So we'll get started here. I'm going to section off the top of the head per the instructions here and in the back of the book you're going to see exactly what we're going to do we're going to pull out a triangle out of the top wider in the front narrower as we come to the crown now we've got some obstacles to deal with we had a much shorter shaved side going on this side that uh, we decided to let grow out so I may put in one small slice of blue or silver here just to balance uh, this growing area. Um, but I want it to blend and I want it to look soft so it will be very very subtle. But we're going to take our triangle out of the top and which does not leave much hair but one or two partings up here. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the black, blue, black off the center part, then we're going to pre-lighten and we'll drop in the blue, the blue intensifier. We're going to add a little neutral to that to make that a little bit lighter. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to mix a little bit of the Avion and a little bit of the graphite intensifier and um, maybe make a subtle lighter blue, pastelish blue underneath or if it's once we get going, you know how it is doing hair, once you get going you change your mind. But if we get in here and this hair is too short and it's going to look too clumpy and not soft and pretty, it would be better to be darker to create a frame for her face as opposed to go pow with a big bright blast right here on her cheek. So we'll uh, take a look at that as we are actually uh, weaving out the hair. And so as per your instructions, here in the book. Everybody should have one of those. We'll pull out our diamond first, then the remaining of the hair we're going to go ahead and color in our uh, number one, number one B in the blue black making it dark. Then we'll come in through here and we're going to take some slices and we're going to pre-lighten it. Then we will alternate our colors with foils when we come back through with the lighter the darker, the lighter the darker. and. Uh, We'll have a fantastic look when we're done, and we'll see if we can make it a little contemporary. We're going to trim it up, see what we can do with it. Okay, check in with us in a few moments. We'll get boiling and get going. Okay, so now we've got our model, Kaylin, who got her hair parted off. And so we've started with a little broader in the front, kind of coming to a triangle here in the back. Now, normally, on thicker hair, you want to make your parting to the edge of the eye. But our hair is kind of fine, and we don't want to overdose on the blue and the silvers and the colors we're going to put in. So I came to the, oh, just in about a quarter inch on the eye uh, to leave a little bit more hair. Now, this side, center of the eye, took all the long hair out of it. So once again, now we're going to have to um, make a plan when I get up here and pre-lighten just exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to mix up the color now. I've got, I've got 30 uh, grams of 1B and I have 20 grams of the blue-black, one blue-black in here. I'm going to be using X-Lite and with the neutral extra blonding cream. 
I always put extra blonding cream in. If you've been keeping up on the tip of the week, I've covered it before, I always put extra blonding cream in. I like the creamy consistency, keeps it nice and moist while we're highlighting. So we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna use uh, 20 volume here instead of a, instead of a 10. Um, we've got some corrective work to do here too, so we wanna make sure we get it all uh, covered up. So I'll start applying. Okay, we have the dark formula. We're working up the back, the nape. You can see the highlights in here we're going to uh, cover up and uh, neutralize. So we'll continue working up to the top and then the sides, and then we'll start our uh, highlighting. Okay, we've got the dark colors put into the back, the nape, the sides. So we're going to start our pre-bleaching. I've taken a small slice out, pre-bleaching it, and then we're going to come back in and put our blues and our uh, silver through it. So we'll just continue up the side of the head. We're alternating the 1B with the pre-bleach. So my next uh, parting or packet here will be of the darker color, the 1B. Then we'll do another bleach packet and we'll continue doing that up and over the side of the head. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we've started on the right hand side here with the bleach. And I wanted to make sure that our sides match. So after I got a couple foils here and I found my pre-lightened first packet, I wanted to make sure that they all match. And so that's why I spun it around, started on this side, and started working up so that it would match exactly to the other side. We'll add a couple more packets. We'll be done. Okay, so we're adding two fine foils here in the crown. I don't want to just have a front and a stop and start mark. So we're going to pre pleach this, and uh, my model and I will discuss whether we want to put the blue in here or if we want to put our smoky silver. Just exactly, you know, what we're going to do in this color. And then, like we've been doing, we're alternating foils bleach with the dark formula. And so this last one here will be our 1B formula. It'll come over, diffuse some of the blue silver in here. Be gorgeous. So, we'll process this and be back in a few minutes. Thank you.